Hi guys, my name is Brooke. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a video that is completely different than what I normally do. And I'm glad that you have tuned in. Um, it's going to be a series of several videos. Today I'm just going to kind of give you a peek into um, my, my idea of my project that I'm going to be starting and um, kind of what I have to work with. So as you can see, I have got, it's totally 100% rough uh, surrounding me. I'm in my basement and um, it's a concrete poured basement. The house was built in the 1940s and um, although from about three feet to the left over, my husband has painted the walls and the floor and the rafters and it looks pretty good. Um, but when he did that, the space that I'm in right now was just, we'd actually taken all of our stuff from over there and put it over here. So none of this got painted. Um, and so what I'm gonna be doing is this doorway right there, that goes back into an old coal room. And so I'm gonna be taking that coal room and I'm gonna be turning into my space, a space for me. And I get to do whatever I want in there and it has a door and I can close it and I can have a project going and not have to worry about um, you know, it looking messy or whatever, even though this is, we are roughing it in this, I mean, we are keeping this basement pretty rough, um, kind of intentionally. We just want to make sure that the girls can just kind of come down here and like Cameron, the other day she spilled like half a gallon of glue on the floor and we're just, we just popped it right up and, um, we may eventually, um, really finish it out, but for now we're just kind of enjoying it, um, the way it is and we all just kind of don't have to worry about it keeping it too tidy or anything. Um, I appreciate that because it actually keeps our main level pretty clean. Um, what else is the benefit of that? Um, I don't know. That's just kind of, we've just kept it pretty rough. So anyway, so I am going to flip the camera, turn it off and share that with you. Like I said, or maybe I didn't say it. Um, this is going to be the first of several different videos. Instead of waiting until the end and condensing them all together, I'm just going to give you a day by day, week by week, um, play by play of how this room is going. So hopefully it turns out great. Honestly, it's so rough that it's going to be an improvement. Um, but otherwise, um, let, let me show you what I have to work with here. So thanks. Okay, hello, I'm back. And this is the doorway that goes into the old coal room. And it's actually a pretty cool door. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a, I had started to clean this out and I got the idea that I would make this my own little space. So I decided I stopped what I was doing and just kind of started filming. So you guys can see exactly how it has, it's starting out. So these are all empty totes. And at one point these were all filled up with fabric. About three years ago we started on a minimalist journey and one of the things that I had at just oodles amounts of was fabric because I do sew. I literally had 14 totes of fabric. So those are all empty. And then we just have just stuff, you know, just things that these are all old years past taxes and that sort of thing. Um, we got some old computers, just odds and ends stuff. And these two shelves right here are about ready to fall. We got them pretty maxed out. So I was wanting to get rid of them um, anyway. All of this paint, I went through all of this paint last summer and got rid of the stuff that we don't need. All of this stuff is things that um, paint that we, on the walls in our home. So of course I'm not going to get rid of that because we will need to touch up paint and whatnot. Um, but all of this, we have another closet in this basement that it can all go to that closet. All this stuff will be kept and be put. This stuff will may even go up to the attic. I'm not sure. So just a little overview of things I, I have to get rid of, things I have to find another spot for. This is all pet stuff, just yuck stuff. This has been kind of a catch-all room.
and then all of this stuff is going out the door. We are in the middle of the nationwide quarantine, so I've been going through stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys kind of my ideas of what I wanna do with this room. So this wall back here is, it is the, um, it's a concrete wall. So it is gonna get painted white. That's what color we painted the rest of the concrete walls. It works out pretty good. It's, um, I believe it's dry lock paint. So this is gonna get painted white. I think what I'm gonna do, I have a table that I really like. I think I'm gonna put a table here and that's going to be kind of an office area. Just have a, my laptop, some file folders up there. Um, I do all of our home finances, so I do need a space for that. Right now, I currently do it at the computer desk and the schoolroom, but I wouldn't mind having my own little space. Um, the wall behind this is also concrete, so it is going to be painted white as well. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure, up here behind there, there is a window. So who knows what it's going to look like when we get that all, all of this out of there. Um, we do plan on ditching all of these um, metal shelves, and my plan is to put kind of a long... Um, buffet or cabinet or something here. I'd like to find something cheap at a resale shop. If not, I'll find something cheap at Walmart or something. Okay, so then this wall is pretty cool and it's got the slats there. I don't know if that's considered shiplap or what, but it's pretty cool. And I thought about painting it light blue and then I went back to white and then my daughter just a while ago said, hey, let's paint it blue. Our beach house last year was blue with white trim and it was so incredibly pretty. So again, really cool wood wall and another wood wall. So this wood wall is a kind of a longer one. So I think I'm gonna put my sewing table and my sewing machine on this wall. So if I was to guess, I would say this room is like a seven by nine maybe. And I think, oh, I know what that is. That's the stairs. <laughs> I think in one of my videos, I said that that was the coal chute or something crazy like that. And then I realized, no, that's not. That's just the stairs coming down from the landing. Um, and then the rafters, um, we will paint, or my husband will paint. So in the rest of the basement, he painted these black. And it looks cool. Um, of course, it you think, well, gosh, that's probably made it the basement really dark, but with the walls completely white, and then he painted the concrete floor gray. There wasn't a lot of options for um, floor paint. Um, and I suppose I could do a stencil, but I think I just want to get like an outdoor rug and put in here. It is a dry basement, but I don't know. For some reason, I think just because it's a basement, I still would like to kind of keep it as utilitarian as I can and you know do outdoor things as much as possible i do have a there is a outdoor chair target right now that i definitely want to put in here i'm hoping i can find a spot so i'm going to go ahead and walk you guys out so this is what i have to work with basically if you guys have any ideas please shoot them to me because this is just a kind of a been stuck in the house for a week and a half project I just decided to do. So this is coming out. This is currently um, my and me and my girls' craft slash sewing area. So I have a nice um, long table that we can cut. I've got some curtains going right here. My daughter's been making scrunchies. Um, these are all of her craft totes. And so this stuff will, her craft stuff will stay out here. I will put the sewing stuff in that little in our my, in my room. Um, otherwise, her craft stuff will stay out here, and she will will keep this table out here. She can do Legos and crafts and whatever she wants out here. And again, like I said, this um, this area in the basement did not get painted when my husband painted all of it. So, I'm trying to go really slow here, just kind of put up some fun decorations. I know it's totally goofy, but I just wanted to brighten it up down here, and we didn't have anywhere for these anyway, so way to store them. There's a window. I just put that canvas up there because it's just letting in so much brightness. And then more totes. This is um, this is sewing projects that I need to finish, and then that is a 
the last of my fabric. I actually, like I told you guys earlier, I had 14 totes of fabric and I gave most of it to my mom, donated the, the rest of it. Here's some um, racks that I have. I do um, one craft show a year, so I keep those racks around. I do think I'm gonna get, I am planning on getting rid of this rack and then this, there's a black rack down there. Um, this is shipping supplies. I have a few things on eBay, you know, all the time. And then this is stuff for my craft booth, supplies, supplies, and more supplies. And then that is Cameron's, nope, that's more of my supplies. Okay, so we do have a spare washer and dryer that we've kept down here. Um, when we moved in here, they had a set, so we just kept that set set up. And this is our new set. And you see closely, you can see it still has plastic on it. So we knew just selling it as a used set, we weren't really gonna get that much money off of it. So we're just holding on to it. And as you can see, I'd already started trying to make a cute little area for myself. And so now all this fun stuff can go in that room when I'm done. So that is pretty much it. So, okay, we're back in this room because I remembered I, I kind of didn't tell you all of my ideas. So right when you walk in, this is the wall that you see. And like I said earlier, I'm going to have a table here. It's a really cool table that I've had for years and years. I'm going to have my laptop and I'm just going to um, just have a few things on there. Um, I have a painting that I've been wanting to do. So hopefully I can get that done and put that painting here. And then I was at Hobby Lobby the other day and I saw these really cool plug-in pendant lamps and so as you can see I do have one plug-in right there and so I can put that cord up there and then hang it right there and I think it's gonna look so so cute there and then on this wall I plan on putting some some of those little miniature lights maybe that um, like fade in and out um, my daughter has some of those in her room and I love them um, this room is it does just have this one light up here. It actually is pretty bright, but I think if I'm doing sewing, I'm gonna need some, some better lighting. So I'll, I'll probably get an actual like um, task lamp for my sewing table. But anyway, so shoot me ideas if you guys have any ideas and I'm gonna get to work cleaning this out. All right, I hope everybody's staying healthy and safe during this quarantine and I hope you're having a fantastic year.